you might think that when you've seen one stone laying ceremony, you've seen them all. But consider the variations on this well-worn theme provided by Newcastle Corporation. First on the stage was Councillor Leslie Cuthbertson, Deputy Lord Mayor of Newcastle. He switched on the concrete mixing plant and operated the automatic electric cement dispenser into the making plant. Then enter Alderman Jonathan Burton, Lord Mayor-elect, who raised the hopper to the mixer, added water and discharged the concrete into the skip. Then from the wings in a most unfeminine role stepped Councillor Miss Iris Stedman. She hoisted the skip by crane, slewed it right to the column shutter box and then lowered the skip to the city architect Mr George Kenyon who completed the cast of the drama. He discharged concrete from the skip to the column shutter and completed the job by operating the vibrator. There were no bouquets, only L plates handed out. Councillor Cuthbertson, this seems rather a poor swap for your chain of office. Can you say what the point of this morning's exercise was? I quite agree with you. I came here with my chain of office this morning and they took it off me and put this round my neck, which uh, I don't mind wearing, you know. But we've had a bit of fun this morning. We've really enjoyed ourselves taking an active part in this uh, foundation of the building. But isn't it taking public relations a little too far? Not at all. We've got a number of jobs like this lined up and we're thoroughly enjoying ourselves. It's real fun and we're learning something at the same time. So this in fact is not going to be the last of the spectaculars? Oh, not at all. We'll be doing this in Jasmine Vale. We'll be doing it in the uh, Shieldfield New Centre that's to be built, the neighbourhood centre and lots of others.